Welcome guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to generate some dummy content so that in our development environment, we can use that content. So let's get started. Currently, I have the brand new project of Laravel 8 and I have the PHP My Admin open where I have a data base with the name of Laravel, which is empty currently. If I go into the code editor, I have added this database in the env file so this is the currently now what i'm going to do i'm going to open the terminal and in terminal i need to navigate to the folder where i have this project so here i am in the sky folder where i have all the application now here i added the virtual host if you want to know how to set up virtual host the link is in the description for the forum article now here what are we going to do we're going to use some laravel commands to create migration file so to do that, what we're going to do, we say PHP artisan make, and I want to make a model. So in this video example, we are going to create category and posts, and then there are going to be some demo content in there. So what I'm going to do here is, I first I'm going to create a model for category. So I say category, and after that, we need to pass dash. For migration, I will pass M, and for factory, we are going to pass F. And for Cedar, we are going to pass S. In a moment, I'll show you how, about how exactly it works. So I hit enter. It is going to create uh, three things here, model created, factory created, and migration created. The same way, I'm going to do the same command, but this time we are going to change uh, category to post. And it is going to generate uh, three files the same way. So migration is basically responsible for the setting of the fields in your database. So we are going to add those fields here. Factory will help us generate uh, data and models will help us inserting data in the database. So let's see the code. Uh, we have ne database next to it. If you open that, you will see factories, migration, and cedar. Now if I open cedar, we will see category cedar, post cedar. If I open migrations, you will see posts and also categories. Now the same way in the factory, we will get post factory and category factory. So what I'm going to do, is first of all, I'm going to go into the migrations and we need to create the database because currently our database is quite empty. So here I'm going to open the posts, timestamps. Here we're going to say dollar table. The fields I want is a title field. It's going to be string and I want it to be having 150 characters and the same way we can copy and paste this. Uh, this time I don't want string because string is going to create a bar chart in the database. So I'm going to make a pass here medium text this time. And I'm going to call this field content. Now the next thing we need to add is the uh, category. For category we are going to pass the form ID. So it's going to be, I'm going to remove this, let's get form ID. And it's going to be category ID. I'm going to and all right so this is the table for our posts now what we're going to do we're going to create the similar uh, for our category so here if I go in categories we have ID uh, the name of the category and its name so I'm going to pass this string I call it name and give it a 150 for now all right so yeah this is going to create the table for us and go into terminal I say PHP artisan migrate uh, and it's going to create the these files so if I go here you will see we have users table we have posts table with the fields we described and the similar way we have categories all right I go forward to work with factory because we need to generate some data so to work with the factory we are going to work with first the category so let's do that. So I go inside category factory. Here we have a definition function. And as we added only one field, if you remember, let me open again. So we have only one field name. So for name, we are going to generate some dummy data. So here we are going to say the field going to be name and what kind of data we are passing here. So we are passing to all of this. And this refers to current class. So this is a factory. And category factory extends factory and here we are going to say uh, figure and 
configure, we again say text because we want to generate some text. The category I want is uh, maximum number of characters, 25. So yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we just created the factory for the category. Now let's go into the post. And similarly, we need to do that too. So for the fields title, and we also have content. Okay, so if I go uh, to the migration file of the posts, you will see we have the title, content, category ID. Now here, for the title, I'm going to use something like the one we used in the category. So it's going to be this figure, and we want to say create. And for the title, the length, I want similar to 25, and comma, as it is an array. And then the other days, and here, we need to say figure again text this time I want 300 so maximum number of characters 300 because text is going to be content going to be more category ID we are going to use the function md rend from PHP we need to provide parameters it is going to generate random numbers from 1 to or whatever number you want to so first you provide uh, let's say if you want to generate a number between 10 to 100, you will provide 10 and 100. But in my case, I want to do is 1 and 25. So it is going to generate 1 to 25. And in category, uh, here we need to put a comma. It's an array. And so, all right, so this part is done. Now we need to include this so that we can use it. And we need to tell uh, Laravel like how many records we want. So for that, what we need to do, we need to go into the Cedar files. So here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here in Category Cedar. Now in Category Cedar, we're going to call the category. And we're gonna say Factory. Now this class is not present here, so it is saying import class in PHP. Stone, you can import it this way. Otherwise, you just need to put it on the top if you're using any other editor now in factory we need to provide the number how many records we want so category I want 25 so the trick going to be it is going to generate 25 records of category so it's going to be ID 1 to 25 and in posts we are saying category ID 1 to 25 so it's going to be randomly assigned to these uh, posts so we will have uh, each post assign some category from 1 to 25 if you get the point now here in post cedar we need to call create and did I add create in the category cedar yeah I forgot to add here so we need to add create all right now to make it work, we need to call the cedar files in database cedar. So if I open database cedar, currently it is empty. So here we are going to say dollar this call and side call we are going to pass the class name. So I'm going to pass the category cedar first and it's a class. And the second one is I'm just gonna copy and paste this and it's going to be post cedar. It's going to do the trick so we uh, just recap we created the migration files we created categories and posts in there then we created the factories in factories we defined uh, what kind of content we want then we have cedar files where we are defining how much how many uh, records we want to generate and say Laravel you do add content you pass fillable in the models and in the command if you remember we created models as well we are including this category model here and post model like here so we need to uh, add fillable there so let's do that so i so i go in category now here what we're going to do we're going to say uh, protect dollar fillable all right and it's going to be because there is only one field i'm going to name here for the post, we get here. Here we have more fields, so we need title. The same fields we have in our migration and uh, in the cedar file. So, so if you go here, title, content, category ID, so the same fields. 
All right, so we have our fillable build ready. So it's time we run the command and add the data. So what do we need to do? We simply go in terminal back here and already we created the tables here, but I'm going to show you how you can delete all these tables and refresh uh, the data. So is it clear here? We said PHP, artisan, migrate, and then add the data, we say fresh. And then here we say seed. So here is going to seed all the data. So hit that, we got an error. Let's see what that error is. It says unknown creating post seeder. All right, guys, we made a mistake here. Here it's totally fine. So post factory 250 records create. If I go to the post factory file itself, you'll see title, this figure, and here I say create 25. Here we need to pass what we have uh, creating. So it's a text. So that's the mistake here. Uh, let's run the command again. And as we're doing fresh, fresh is going to be uh, delete this table and create again. So I'm gonna hit enter. This time it runs smoothly and creates everything. So if I go inside Laravel, now we have categories. We go inside, we have 25 categories. And you can see that ID one to 25. Now when you go inside Laravel, and then posts we have 250 uh, posts here and if you see the category id is randomly generated to 1 to 25 so so if i go to views resource views we have welcome dot blade and this is coming because of route web so do we need to create a controller i'm going to say here php artisan make controller and I will call this controller post controller and I will say resource so we have default functions provided from Laravel that creates a controller I give here we will see that we have a few functions here now what I want to do I want this index function to power the main page instead of this so just gonna remove this and we're going to pass in an array that's the first parameter going to be the post controller it is a class and the second parameter going to be the function name, so index. So this function is going to power this view. So I go to the post control, return, view, and view going to be welcome. Because the file name is welcome.blade. So here, so if I go back there, refresh the page, nothing changes, everything stays the same. So I just want to pass the data, the post data to the view so we can see that because we have the posts here so what we do simply i'm going to call the post model here and here i'm going to say get so it's going to get the all posts it's not very good for performance but for me you just want to see the outcome if we are getting the data or not so for that it's fine i'm just going to pause here uh, with and i'm going to call posts and dollar post okay so we are passing this dollar post into the welcome.blade now now in welcome.blade i want to if you go to the main page now here we have, we have these four portions so i just want my post to load here so for that what i do is simply uh, if i say here let me need to delete these three days and just going to work on one on top so in laravel we have if a set dollar posts so it's like going to check if we are having the dollar post and we are passing the dollar posts here so we can catch dollar posts here. So here's a end if we're just gonna do the for each and dollar post and here. Alright, now we need to get this variable. Now here we have the content. If you see the line here we say dollar post and we have content. And also I want to show the title. So we have title coming here. You can see documentation it says. So we want our title there. So if you notice here documentation. So we're just gonna pass our title. So for now post title. All right, and go here and refresh. So you can see that all the posts are loading. Now this is something that is coming from database and then the content that we are showing. So it's, it's working. No, it's not enough